Hello, hello, hello to all of my Torians. This is Queen Amun Ra. I got my camera back. Yay! Yes. All right. So listen, this is your Monday motivational reading. I know somebody's going to say, is it Monday? <laughs> No, it is not. It is Tuesday, but I got my camera back. So let's get it popping. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The energy has already been cleared, Taurus. So let's get right into your general reading. Again, this is a general reading for my Taurus sun, moon, rising Venus, north, south node, or wherever Taurus is in your chart. I really want you all to start pulling your full birth chart so that you can get better acquainted with all parts of you, all those parts in your, in your birth chart. Right? So let's go. Let's go. You know who I'm talking to by now? I'm talking to my stable, responsible, devoted, practical, reliable, generous, and trustworthy, very patient, logical, determined bulls. I'm talking to each and every one of you all. Taurus, by now, you all know, some of you all may or may not know, because a lot of people have been commenting on the video on the Knowledge Channel about soul ties and how you can break those. First, identifying soul ties and how you can break those soul ties. It's not just sexual soul ties. Sometimes it's Sometimes it's spiritual, sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's physical soul ties, you know, with family members and things like that. So go check out the video. The link is below in the description box. So let's get into your general reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Let's see. Here we have the Tower card and the Temperance card. Yes. So there could be, there could be a, um, there could be an Aries or Scorpio somewhere in your life that could be going through a, a Tower moment, right? That is probably, and they, this is why I want you all to get to know birth charts, right? Pull other people's birth charts too. If you have family members and you know, you know, their birthday, I mean, there's, well, you can go online and look them up because when I toss out signs, I'm associating the sign with the planet that it's ruled by, not necessarily the person. Get it? Yeah. So we also have the sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck. So somebody is going to be feeling quite protected, you know, by a guardian angel watching over you while you're going through this transformation, right? We're moving towards, we're still very much in uh, full moon in Libra. So you all are still kind of re-evaluating or evaluating or re-evaluating some relationships around you. So you don't have to necessarily worry about if you make some firm decisions about letting people go or letting things go, people, places, or things. If you're letting things go to balance out your own scale so that you feel better. Here we have the nine of cups. I'm seeing and focusing on choosing you first then don't worry about what other people are thinking and what they're saying. Okay. Because this is really about your mental and physical health. Because somebody's been sitting in this position far too long. This is the five of cups. Somebody has been really looking down. I mean, like emotionally bankrupt, just drained emotionally, right? So you don't need to keep talking about certain things and who did what to you and that kind of thing. Because I'm going to tell you how divinely protected you all at this moment. And by the way, your birthdays are coming up tomorrow. Don't forget to let me know. Drop some lines below or send me a text message if you want me to send you a personal happy birthday message. Please text me your birthday. Don't assume that if I've talked to you that I know your birthday, right? If you want a personal text message from me on your birthday, please text me your name and your birthday, right? Sometimes people text me, hey, my birthday's on such and such date. And I'm like, well, who is this? <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to your reading. All right. And then let me know what you what you guys want, like collectively as a sign for your birthday, because I try to make, you know, do creative things for every sign during their season. And your season is coming up. It's going to kick off tomorrow. So, you know, I love to send you all happy birthday messages and offer like different surprises. So here we go. Like I said, so when you put yourself first, and this is what I'm seeing for a lot of you all Torians, when you put yourselves first and you start doing things to nurture you, whatever that may be to nurture yourself, this is you embracing all sides of yourselves. The um, two of cups is really about duality. You all are divine feminine by default. And I'm talking to men and women um, Torians. And so when you start focusing on doing what, what works best for you, you're going to emotionally feel like you hit the jackpot. This is not about fitting in and then getting disappointed that people are not, um, you know, are not really doing things the way that you'd like for them to do. Right. And if people are talking negatively about you, guess what's going to happen to them? Karma. Karma. Yeah. See, a lot of uh, I, I pulled this card. I want to say it was for Capricorn, one of your sister signs. But um as you all have this fire up under you, this is the sun and this is temperance, which is a, um, and sun is, uh, Leo's 
ruling, so uh, Leo is ruled by the sun. And then we have this temperance, which is Sagittarius, right? So as fire is up under you, right? And you got Aries up here too. As this fire is up under you, it's an intense moment for people. Like somebody is putting some fire up under you all, you know, to focus on self-love. Do what works best for you. I don't know who that is in your life or around you who loves you, but don't worry about what other people think. Okay, somebody's putting some kind of fire up under you. And so, again, reason why I don't necessarily like to throw out signs in particular, because a lot of times people associate signs with a person, whether it was a good experience or a bad experience. And that's that's what always trips people up. It's like, oh, my God, yeah, I knew this sign and this sign was this kind of way and that kind of way. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, universe is trying to send you a lot of money. So your rebirthing process for some people is going to almost be traumatic. I'm serious. Like for some people, like imagine, okay, if you all know anybody who has given birth or you've heard about it or even go watch some birthing stories, a lot of things come into play, which could cause a difficult birth. Okay. But this is your rebirth, right? This is your rebirth. In the past, you would have been sitting in front of a vault filled with everything that you want, money, the love of your life, everything that you want distracted because I'm distracted by what people are saying. Are they talking about me? Are they doing, did, did some of the energy that I put out in the universe is karma coming back to get me? I mean, overthinking everything, but this is how you open this vault door. You don't have to be struck by a bolt of lightning in order to open up the vault door because this is what's coming your way. Somebody's going to get a raise at work. It's perfect synergy, perfect alignment. So I'm seeing somebody getting a, a new, um, like a GS something like where, let's say for instance, you're a GS 12, you could be getting a GS 13 or you're a GS 11. You're a G I'm seeing somebody getting some kind of, or seven getting, you know, raised to an eight or nine or whatever, but I'm seeing some kind of increase. And this is beyond your tax return, depending on where you are. Right. And I do see somebody traveling, right? Because again, your, your money is perfectly aligned, but somebody is nervous about this change. Somebody is really nervous about this rebirth. But I would encourage you, Taurus, to really go back and look at your history of did worrying change anything for you? Did it? All it did was, you know, you watered those plants of worry and it just grew and you worried even more and you worried about this and you worried about that. You don't need to. That's devil energy right here. This is a devil card, right? So devil card is attached to Capricorn. Capricorn's ruling planet is Saturn, right? Saturn is, um, Saturn is the planet of hard work, discipline, responsibility, long-term goals and ambitions. This is what you want to focus on. Somebody is about to go into this rebirth, but they're nervous about coming across more money. Like, you know, as if, if you're worried about people who are jealous about you and talking about you, whatever, forget all of that. Seriously, just, just try, like it just at least try, because again, they're creating their own karma. So, and karma never misses. So I, I suspect listening, looking at this, looking at your reading here, um, that some of you all, <sighs> hmm, some of you all are very passionate about doing things, but again, it's just that I can't really see the benefit of pursuing this. Some, like somebody could have, somebody could be a barber, for instance. And your business is not doing very, very well. So you could be looking at it in the, um, and I'm just using Barbara as example or hairstylist or whatever, but Barbara was the first thing that came out and somebody could be looking at their business. Like I'm trying to take it to the next level. You know, I, I want to put my business online. I want to do this. I want to do that. So instead of just saying, I want to, cause you released it into the universe. Now it's time to ask source or God. Okay. Can you put some people across my path? That's going to help me. Um, put my business online, share it with the World Wide Web. Can you send some web developers across my path? So now that you've put it out in the universe, for instance, and so every person that comes and sits in your chair, sits in your chair to get their beard or their hair or whatever tightened up, you can ask questions. Hey, you know anybody who builds websites? You know anybody? You're going to start talking, speaking things into existence without the fear of worrying about somebody's like, oh, talking about you because again, that, that's what happened in the past. And it had you sitting in front of a vault filled with money. There's a lot of things that some people are just, and e even creatively, I'm even seeing creatively like somebody playing an instrument and they're nervous. They're, they're nervous about something. So it's a lot of things here. 
And don't just use those two examples. Only take what resonates with you. Whatever it is that you're trying to give birth to and you know you have a business or something that you can offer to the world, I am talking to you because somebody is really nervous about and doubtful about their own future. Like if you're not betting on yourself, Taurus, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Even if the whole world is against you, you still have source inside of you, right? To help you with this. So come on now, four of wands. Get around some other stable, solid people that's, you know, that's rooted and grounded, but also has some fire up under them, right? Yes. If they're your family members and you feel like, okay, I, can, I need to keep this close to the cuff because I, I got some things I want to take care of, some things I want to do, then they then make sure they're the only people that you're telling. Okay. Yeah. That's how this works. Yes. We coming up on Taurus season. Yes. Bull season. Yes. So yes, 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 indeedies. So no fear. Here we have, I am grace. I am centered. I am clear in my mind. I expect the best. Exactly. I expect the best, right? Yeah. The fruit of surrender is patient grace. See, it's easy for people to sit back and laugh at other people's dreams and say, oh yeah, they trying this. That's not going to work for them because you know, that's not like you have to work for somebody else. You don't necessarily have to work for somebody else. You just need to figure out the blueprint because everybody has a gift inside of them, right? So this is about bringing it to fruition and connecting with people, right? Connecting with other human beings, getting that fear, you know, pushing fear to the side. It's going to hit somebody like a bolt of lightning. Somebody has like the angel on one shoulder and the devil on another shoulder. Should I start my business? Should I not start my business? Should I, you know, is it going to work? You know, that doubt. This is where you have to speak it into existence instead of sitting there because you all are receivers by default, not to be mistaken by takers, right? You got six signs that are givers and then you got the other six that are receivers. Feminine are the receivers, masculine signs are the givers, okay? Their energy is directed outwards, yours is directed inward, yours is cyclic. So somebody is receiving all of this fear. You got to be real careful about who you receive information from. I'm serious. If somebody say, oh, that plan isn't going to work. You know, my cousin, they tried to open up a store. They started, they wanted to, you know, go, go to cosmetology school or they wanted to go back and get their degree at a certain age. And it was just too late. And what, what sense is it like? What are you going to use it for? Those are the people that you need to, mm-mm. Those are the people that karma is going to make a fool out of, seriously, because I do see you all winning. Like I said, Imet, look, this right here, somebody's going to feel like they hit the jackpot. Somebody's going to feel like they did hit the jackpot because they're pursuing something that they love, something that makes you feel good, right? You have tools in your arsenal. Listen, you all are the I have sign. This is where you're going to use what you have. Somebody needs to get grounded. Somebody needs to go outside and sit down in some grass, you know, make sure the grass is clean first. <laughs> You don't want to sit in, you know, rovers mess, but make sure you can sit down in a place where you can get grounded from the earth so you can meditate, Taurus, so you can start putting those dreams out there, speaking things into existence. Get away from the naysayers. I don't care if they're in your family, if you've known them for 20, 30 years, it doesn't matter. Anybody who is, you know, trying to rain on your parade, if they're not watering your seed that you've planted into the universe, then they got to go. Remember, the part of the reason why there's fear involved is because you're challenged with this full moon energy to balance out your own scales. Libra, that's the scales of balance. We have the full moon in Libra. We're still very much in that energy until we move into the last quarter moon in Aquarius. This is really about taking action. Your energy has to be directed outward. And Libra's ruling planet is Venus. So Venus is a feminine planet. So now you're focused on doing things with feel and look aesthetically to you, right? You want to start an interior design business. Okay. I want to market it online. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Okay. So let me start asking some people, people that I feel like I can trust. Maybe they're not other interior designers. Maybe they are, you know, maybe there are people online. I send them a DM. Hey, you know what? Can you kind of sort of tell me how you started your business out? Don't be afraid to ask people. If you don't feel like in your circle, you can ask people, ask people that you don't know, ask complete strangers. You'd be surprised at how many entrepreneurs would be willing to help you because they were just like you. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I'll see you in a couple of days. And again, do not forget to let me know what you guys want for your birthdays. Let me know. Do you like books? Do you like, what, what is it? What is it that you like? Okay. That's what I have for you. Bye.